Grand Rise, I want to welcome you to another episode of Max Crypto News, where we talk about these intangible coins at all times. Family, we got a nice show set up for you today. So I just want y'all to sit back and relax and just pay attention to this good information that will be given out. Family. Yeah, family. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we gather online as citizens of the world to judge two experts in a critical debate. In this corner, the creator of centralized banking. Make some noise for Alexander Hamilton. And yeah, y'all, I'm gonna play this for a quick second. It's just a debate between centralized banking and decentralized banking. And a wrap, y'all. Just check it out, man. Give it a couple, two, three minutes. We're going to keep it moving. In this corner, the creator of the Bitcoin, the believer in the blockchain, give it up for Satoshi Nakamoto. <laughs> Mr. Hamilton, you may begin. Before we begin, everyone do me a favor and read a little thing I wrote called the Federalist Papers. Yeah. I explain how a nation's unlikely to survive without a strong central government to keep it alive. When I launched the central bank, Jefferson called me ill. Now you have my face to thank on every $10 bill. When America was cash-strapped, I pushed past that. Now some sicko makes crypto and our nation backtracks. Decentralized currency? Yes, I invented it. I'm sure many governments wish they had prevented it. The national cash is how they keep control. But freedom to the people was my ultimate. Ultimate goal. Yeah, am I a pseudonym? A group of men? It doesn't even matter. Nope. I invented Bitcoin because fiat is a disaster. A man from Japan or a damn hologram. I'm the reason open season on crypto began. Does anybody know what this crypto thing means? Nope. To me, sounds like the new get broke quick scheme. Yeah, a bunch of fools from across the land investing in something they don't even understand. Yeah. Buying Litecoin cash, Bitcoin cash. It's all gonna crash and be gone in a flash. Yeah. All this unsupported money is an irrational prank. And I'll be laughing all the way to my <laughs> national bank. <laughs> yeah, dude, super funny. Psych. As if banks these days still help people make money. Please. The rich get richer and we follow like we're all sheep. The banks serve Wall Street. Crypto serves all streets. The interest in crypto is on rapid ascent. What's your current interest? Like half a percent? Huh. I'm sorry, the bank's gone past its peak. But I want info encrypted, not hacked and leaked. If this crypto system will be our salvation, it needs to be centralized. It needs regulation. If our central database gets, how you say, hacked, insurance will just make a case to get your money back. Cause in fact it's trapped and the money leaves a trail Central currency is strong, cryptocurrency is frail Untraceable money? Wow, so clever One typo in your address, now it's gone forever Crypto is frail, that's the essence of your lesson Your money leaves a trail, yeah, a trail to a recession A bunch of rich white guys made this system Why would they ever change it when it made them rich men? Movie moguls fought hard against the VCR Horse and buggy manufacturers all hated the car So why would I take my advice from the banks? I don't need a bailout to survive thanks the system is so broken we <laughs> hey y'all this is a good conversation if you actually got some time man come here and check out this rap battle man because it's basically talking about the difference between the old school way of banking and this new technology era that we in right so i'm not gonna i'm gonna play a couple little bit more then we're gonna jump right in fam we need that crypto token. The system isn't broken. Can we trust crypto tokens? It's gotta be centralized, decentralized, centralized, decentralized. We need control, free enterprise. Bring me the facts, please testify. Fiat's the way a government controls the populace. Government protects its people. All of this is obvious. They keep the peace, and so they keep control. You want us ruled by crypto miners? No one even knows. Oh, it's that strong central government bit again. Ugh. They protect people, but only their citizens. <laughs> Crypto has no borders. It's a true global currency and censorship resistance for those who need it urgently. Banks earn trust by assuming liability. You know what key we know the customer explicitly. Will the real Satoshi please stand up? Nope, you'll still be hiding when crypto busts. You don't need to trust the people, you just need to trust the code. Yep. Every record's in the network, you just one node. Oh. And when you find a flaw, there's a software update. Now try updating cash. Go ahead, I'll wait. Wait, cash works, you immediately pay. Crypto's a far worse medium of exchange. Can't Bitcoin the dentist? Nope. Can't Bitcoin my breakfast? Nope. Can't even use Bitcoin at Bitcoin conventions. Nope. No currency starts with universal Adoption. It takes time for places to make it an option. Plus, billions of people don't have bank accounts. No savings, no interest, no checks to bounce. You're safe. <laughs> All right, y'all. But look, 
this is a good conversation, man, um, to have, especially when you be talking to your family about traditional banking and the crypto. So it's good they put it in a song. But with that being said, man, we about to jump right in. Um, we're going to jump right into this show today, man. Um, listen, y'all, if you're not subscribed to BitMax on, on YouTube, I need y'all to make sure y'all go hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Let me, so whenever I drop these live videos, you can get access to the content family. Also, listen, we're growing in numbers, so I appreciate everybody that have subscribed to the page thus far. We've been, I've been having this page up and running since December, so it ain't even been too much and we starting to grow, so I really appreciate y'all. I do have some perks. I know what I said. I haven't gave the crypto out, but it's coming, family. Just give me a little time. It's going to be coming, right? Also, I'm still offering this Advanced crypto class for anybody that want to get joined. Listen, it's a $99 fee. You can cash out me the money. Um, once I receive the money, we're going to set up an interview. We're going to get started. We're going to start making this paper, right? But this is what it's all about is trying to benefit ourselves, right? So with that being said, you can email me at bmac252.sf at gmail.com or you can email me at maxcryptonews at gmail.com. Whoa, family, listen. XLM is about to head to the moon. Y'all already know what time it is, moonshot. Like XRM is about to head to the moon the next quarter. So starting in February, I hope y'all got y'all bags packed, right? Because XRP is about to head, XLM, I'm sorry, is about to head to the moon, right? And when they head to the moon, where you gonna be? My team I, uses monday.com to manage projects, sales, recruitment. That's the question. Where are you going to be? I know where I want to be. I want to be strapped to the um strapped to the plane so I can go to the moon with them, right? But um with that being said, let me let me jump right into this um market. We're gonna jump into the um market and see what's going on, right? So let me refresh my screen. All right, listen, the total market cap is one trillion and forty-four billion dollars. Looking good. You know, tomorrow, Wednesday, what usually happens on Wednesdays? The market usually go up on Wednesdays. So we'll see. We'll see if, if high goes tomorrow. But usually on Wednesdays, the market usually pick up a little bit. So we'll see what's going on tomorrow. Oh, let's Bitcoin, $36,393. Ethereum, Ether has made an all-time high today family today ethereum has made an all-time high right now it's sitting at fourteen hundred dollars per ether it has made an all-time high hey ethereum is going to the moon let's 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 look at some of this let's go top moon, so we about to let off tick got you looking at your wrist watch don't hit pop because we about to moonshot time is ticking you're still supporting people that surely pray that the coins are yes family ethereum is on its way to the moon do you hear me ethereum is about to take off i'm gonna pull up the chart we're gonna look at it a little bit more but Ethereum, matter of fact, let's not wait. Let's just jump right into this chart right now. Let's get to this Ethereum chart right now, fam. It got up to $1,439. That is an all-time high, depending on what um, exchange you own. It's let you know if it's an all-time high or not. 14, 1450 is the all-time high, I think, on Coinbase. But we have reached the all-time high today. Ethereum is about to move. Look at this bullish cross right here. Matter of fact, we're gonna look at this compared to um, Bitcoin. We're not even gonna compare it to USD. But really, Bitcoin is the ultimate. Bitcoin is the ultimate comparison. And look at that. It's smacking Bitcoin all in the face with this one hour chart. Look at this right here. Yo, Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin heavily right now. Look at that. Look at this separation. Ethereum is on the move, family. So um, we can get prepared for Ethereum to make that move like Bitcoin made in 2017. That's 
that's what it looked like, family. So we can get prepared to see some three, four, five, six, maybe Ethereum making even get up to ten thousand dollars, family, within this bull run. Watch it. Watch what I tell y'all. Ethereum is about to moon. Ethereum about to go, y'all. Um, it's been sitting back. It's been waiting, and all the rest of the altcoins is waiting for Ethereum to pop. So this is against BTC now. This chart we're looking at is against BTC. So you can see it's outperforming BTC. It's look, even here was outperforming BTC. Now when it got down here, BTC was whooping his butt. They bottomed out, and now it done took off. So you can see I was outperforming. BTC right now. Um, Ethereum looking good. Look, look at this. This was a pump at the bottom out. So look at look at look at the history of the bottom out. Then it'll move. In the bottom out, come sideways and move, y'all. It's about to pump. It's about to pump, family. So um, I hope y'all got y'all ether. I hope you got you at least one, man. You want one. One at least one. So if it go up to 10,000, you can sell that one and wait for it to bottom out again. And if it bottom out, you can get you three, four this time, maybe even five off that one. You got to play the game, family. That's why you need to join that class. You need to join this advanced crypto class so you can learn these tips, how to play this game and monopolize on this. Use one, <laughs> And use it wisely. That one can turn into 10 easy if you know how to play the game right, family, right? But it's looking good. Um, a little small pullback, but against Bitcoin, it's going up. You see this now. It's going higher and higher against Bitcoin and higher and higher. So um, we'll see how this play out. But Ethereum is looking real good, family. Listen, family, if you like this information, man, y'all hit that thumbs up button, man. Like the video. Give me a subscribe. Look at Polkadot. The dot done cooled down a little bit at $16.79. Dot cooled down a little bit, but it's still looking good. $16.79 for the dot. Done surpassed XRP. But XRP still fighting. 29 cent up 4.93% today. So after all that FUD, all this information about XRP, and XRP is still here. Matter of fact, it was an article that put out that the, um, hold up, the SEC was warned um, that the SEC was warned. Yeah, here we go. This is that article, y'all. It's an article out that the SEC was reportedly warned. Now the SEC is supposed to, the purpose of the SEC is to support, is to um, look out for the best interest of the investors, meaning the common people. Listen, y'all, I'm going to play this. It's a four minute, I'm going to play this, y'all, because this is very important. I want y'all to listen to this. U.S. SEC was reportedly warned that investors may lose billions due to enforcement action against Ripple legal expert claims. Johnny Deaton, a lawyer focused on the blockchain and cryptocurrency sector, and other societal-slash-legal issues, notes that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, was warned that investors could potentially lose billions, considering the magnitude of an SEC enforcement action against Ripple's XRP, which is one of the largest digital assets in terms of market cap, at over $12.6 billion at the time of writing. John E. Deaton tweeted, The SEC was warned investors would lose billions. Considering the magnitude of an SEC enforcement action against the third largest digital asset, XRP, the SEC and its chairman, Jay Clayton, was sent a letter, prior to the filing of the action, from former Chief Joseph Grunfest. Deaton claims that the SEC and its chairperson, at that time, Jay Clayton, had been sent a letter, well before the filing of the action, from former Chief Joseph Grunfest. Deaton pointed out that Grunfest had reportedly warned Clayton and the SEC that the mere filing of the lawsuit, declaring XRP an unregistered security, would result in an unprecedented scenario of billions of dollars in losses resulting from an exodus of intermediary market service providers. Deaton confirmed that this is actually a direct quote from a former chief who may have seen all this coming. 
Deaton further noted that the mass exodus of intermediary market service providers has now taken place. He also mentioned that crypto exchanges Coinbase, Kraken, and nearly every other service provider has now halted XRP, trading for US-based customers. Others, such as Bitwise and Grayscale even liquidated their XRP holdings, Deaton confirmed. He continued. Remember, XRP has been publicly traded in the US and globally for seven plus years with the SEC's full awareness and implicit permission. The SEC was aware that XRP was being actively traded on over 200 exchanges globally, including in the US. Clayton was warned by Grundfest that if the SEC initiated an enforcement action declaring XRP an unregistered security in present day, these exchanges would have no choice but to delist and or halt XRP, trading from fear of an SEC action against them. Deaton added. Grunfest informed Clayton that he was aware of no instance in which the simple announcement of a commission's enforcement procedure has, absent allegations of fraud or misrepresentation, caused multi-billion dollar losses of innocent third parties. Did y'all hear that? Did you hear what, what the guy said? He says, Grunfield informed Clayton that he was aware of no instance in which the simple announcement of a commissioner's enforcement procedure has absent allegations of fraud or mis misrepresentation caused multi-billion dollar losses of income third parties. So this guy basically said he never heard of it. Now, he didn't think this was going to happen. In other words, he basically said, I'm calling your bluff. You lying. And listen, the, uh, the consumers had to pay because of this decision. This right here, is damning. This is some damning information right here. The fact that it, they didn't believe it. Um, he didn't believe it. Grunfield, no, he didn't believe that it was no way possible that people was going to be able to lose this much money in the midst of um of them doing filing this lawsuit against XRP. That's basically what it said. He called it, he said, I don't believe you. And basically what happened is they called their bluff. So basically he called the bluff, y'all. Um, also, some more um, XRP news is um, one of the holders of XRP started back selling their shares today. Um, one of the owners started selling their shares today. So there's a lot of speculations of why wow, all of a sudden now um, he started selling his shares. Now, he had also um, been sharing them. But you know that Bitrex and Coinbase, I think they delisted the XRP today. So you can no longer trade them on their sites. I know Bitrex, you can't trade XRP no more up there. And I think Coinbase today was the last day or where you can't trade it up there no more. You can hold it, but you can't trade it. But it's interesting that he started selling some today and the price of um. XRP actually started going up a little bit today. It was up a little bit higher earlier today, right? But it's a little bit down, but it was over 30 cent earlier today, right? Um, Cardano, Cardano looking good at 37 cent, family. Cardano is looking good. It's going to take off. They got their own, um, what's the thing? Gollum, something coming in February. I can't pronounce it right now. I just wait, but it, it, it got some bullish news. So um, Cardano, is going to the moon, y'all. Another moon shot. The Donna was headed. Tick tock, tock, boom. So we about to let it off. Tick tock, got you looking at your wrist. Watch, watch, watch. Oh. Hip hop, hop. Cause oh. we about to moon shot. Yo, ADA about the moon shot family. I hope y'all have y'all bags packed and y'all ready to go to the moon with ADA, right? ADA is moving. Pack them bags, y'all. 88 looks like it can get up to $10 in this bull run. Don't say it ain't possible. Watch what I tell y'all. Litecoin up 4.88%, $156. Litecoin, especially, let me get back there, especially when um the new site come out, well, not the new site, the update, and people, if people start building smart contracts, in February on it, we'll know. Don't worry, I'm, I'm going to keep y'all abreast with it. But if people are building, and I did see that they had 11 um, people bidding to do the contracts. Matter of fact, no, nah, I ain't going to show that right now. 
But um, if they got people building on ADA, hey, the price going to, hey, we're going to find out. That's all I'm going to tell you. Um, Bitcoin Cash at um, $513.95. Chainlink doing a little bit of consolidating down $20.84. And look at Stella, $0.30. Cent. Hey, going into February, Stella and ADA is what you want to have. Listen, Stella and ADA with the with Stella coming with that USDC, and they talking about in February it rolling out. Stella is going to the moon. ADA going to the moon. Y'all better watch these moonshot XLM, XLM to the moon, baby. I'm very bullish on it. All right, so let me um, that's the top ten, right? Let's go to a little bit of news. Get some of this stuff out of the way real fast, right? So. Jamie Dimon done, done a reversal, family. Jamie Dimon says J.P. Morgan Chase should absolutely be scared list about fintech threat. This is what Jamie Dimon said about these banks: is they should be scared about fintech threat, right? They should be scared. Why? Jamie Dimon message to the management team of 3.4 trillion Bank of Goliath, JB, JP Morgan Chase, be frightened of fintech rivals. Absolutely, we should be scared shitless about them, Damon told analysts. Damon said he sent his, his deputies a list of global, global competitors and that PayPal, Square, Strike, and Financial as well as Amazon, Apple, and Google were names the bank needs to keep an eye on. Oh, really? They so right? Because they better adapt or they're going to get left behind. End of discussion. Either they're going to adapt or they're going to get left behind. Right? So um, you can read this, man, but um. You better watch out, man. FinTech and this and this technology and, and the blockchain is changing this. And DeFi is really about to make these centralized banks have a head a family. So hey, they should be worried shitless. He right. He never lie. With that right. So also, family, um, let me get back to coin market cap. Oh, yeah, that's next. We're gonna talk a little bit about Nexo too, family. Um, you know, also since I had y'all here on um, bank flow, you know, family, it's going to be a tutorial where you can come in here and you can get signed up for bankroll and you can flow, start getting this uh, residual income. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing like making money every day. Just coming here and seeing your money grow and TRX at three cent. Hey, it's worth it. Like you can watch that money grow every day. All right, so I have a description. I mean, a link where you can come and get signed up. Now, with Stronghold, you don't need no referral. You can just come here and get it. Look, got 55 TRX right there waiting for me to get. Hey, this is how you get this free money, y'all. You want to get signed up? Somebody say 55 TRX ain't nothing. Okay, we'll just keep it, keep doing what you're doing, right? I ain't bad at you. But I'm going to get my little extra crumbs here and there. That's all I know. These extra crumbs, they come in handy. I'm going to get close. Sooner or later, I'm going to have a 1,000. I won't have over a 1,000 on a lot of these. But listen, y'all, y'all can come here, get in the buddy system, and get signed up, man, because, hey, this is that free money, and this is DeFi right here in your face, not even being talked about, but actually being practiced, man. And this is for people that do crypto. If you do crypto, this is what you're going to be paying attention to, right? Because you want to make sure you headed to the moon, right? So we about to let off, off tick tock. Got you looking at your wristwatch. Don't hip hop, because we about to moonshot. Tick and light. Hey, hey, y'all better get prepared. A lot of hidden gems out here headed to the moon. Let's look at Binance Coin. A little bit down. It's consolidated $43.17. Um... Bitcoin SV at $205. Let 
Monero, $157. EOS, $2.81. I'm just waiting for EOS to pop. Uniswap, doing a little consolidating. A consolidate was over $200. It's coming down. Nil at $0.24, cent, moving on up. Tron at three cent, just still sitting three cent. I'm waiting for you, Tron. I'm fake. I'm I'm patient. Look at Tezos, two dollars and ninety cent, right? V chain, two cent, two cent. I had to jump in. I couldn't wait no longer. I said I can't miss the boat. Uh, Neo went up down a little bit, but at twenty six dollars and sixty two cent. Neo, one of the ones you want to get you about five, six of them. Spend a hundred dollars. And, and see what it turned into, right? Um, I owed them up 0.78%. All right, that's 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 looking good. Let's, look, let's get to some of these biggest movers. Let me see what else we got. Ethereum class almost at eight cent. That's that's looking good. The graph consolidating again. Now, for everybody who listened to me, I told y'all our entry point for the graph was 30 cent. Remember, now that it out pumped. You might need to move that entry point about about 35, 40 cents. If we get down to 35, 40 cents, I'll get me some more. Um, that's my entry points. Now I'm moving it up to around 35 cents. We get some more. If we get down to 35 cents, we'll get some more. Right. Um, Algorand consolidating also. It had a nice pump. You know, it had the USDC put on Algorand and it made a pump. The USDC ain't no joke, family. Um Ren looking good. Ren looking good. It look beautiful, baby. Um, Nano, Nano going consolidate. Nano, if you get under three dollars, you want to get you some. Look at Nexo. Nexo headed to the moon, seventy-five cent up twelve dollars and eighty-five cent. Where my Nexo holders at, huh? We jumped the next one when it was 10 cent, 11 cent, 12 cent. <laughs> Where my next one hold us at, boy? And listen, matter of fact, I told y'all a couple shows ago that next one was going to get right to start taking off because they're tokenomics. Every month they come out with something new. Hey, where y'all, where my next one hold us at? Where them smiles at? Let's see what we got. It got the 77 cent today. Where them next one hold us at? Especially the ones that were jumping in early when I was telling y'all when it was 10 cent. 10 cent and this suck up to 70 some cent. Yo, wait. <laughs> next one, where's that? We headed to the moon. Let me give you a look. Next one, moon shot. Tick tock, tock, moon so. We about to let off, off tick tock. Got you looking at your wristwatch. Cause we we ain't looking at our wristwatch though, are we? We looking at our um, we <laughs> we looking at these bank accounts grow. <laughs> Listen, we about to moonshot. Time is ticking. You're still supporting people that surely bring that the coins you're buying is the winning. Hey, hey! Shout out to um, Lady E. And um, the song TikTok, man, I like the song. But listen, Nexo is moving. It's consolidating. I don't care how much you consolidate. When you jumped in at 10 cent, 11 cent, 12 cent, they can consolidate all they want to. New all-time high. I know we got an all-time high because they tweeted. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to the tweet after this. Y'all, it ain't too late. And you know I've been talking about Nexo, so. Mm, look at that move. Is this? Look at this. 16 cents. Look at this. Look at the price, y'all. 16. 17 cents. I told y'all you thought I'm bull driving. 12 cents. Next one was down here. It was cheap. It was cheap. Look at it. It pumped. Came down. This is like a W, really. And now it's pumping again. And I think we made an all-time high. I know we did. Matter of fact, because let's go to Twitter for Nexo. Because they let us know. Full throttle. Nexo Nam is 2.0. We have a new all-time high for the Nexo token at 776. Hold tight, Nexo. We just getting started. I'm with y'all. 
I'm riding y'all to the moon. Hey, I got my seat on the jet, on the uh, space craft. I'm going to the moon. You know they say black folks, <laughs> we don't. Uh, we the only ones that can go up in space anyway. I'll leave that alone. <laughs> They say that you gotta have melanin to go up in space. Cause they had to spray melanin on the uh, aircraft. <laughs> That's what people say, synthetic melanin. But I'll leave that alone, right? But I'm headed to the moon with next, so I'm strapped in. Strapped in, but I hope y'all on the ride with me. Let's keep going. Let's get away from next, so, right? We strapped in, family. Boy, we strapped in. Hey, if y'all like this content, man, y'all hit that thumbs up button, man. Subscribe to the page. Hey, pay that $99, y'all. Join us. It ain't too late. Once, listen, uh, listen, I'm, I'm a real person, man. And I'm a realist with my eyes. I ain't like a lot of other people that's on YouTube. Trust and believe me. Once we get to a point where what I'm teaching, you ain't going to make no money, you ain't going to hear me talking about the class no more. That's just real. That's just how I am. Once we reach a point wherein I feel like, okay, the stuff I've talked about, it ain't gonna go no higher, I'm not gonna mention the class no more. I'm gonna be like, the class is over with because we're gonna have peaked out. And I'm, I'm not one of them people that's just trying to steal your money. That ain't what I'm after. I'm trying to get us all to eat. And you can believe it or not. You think it's a joke? You, just, you know, you believe what you wanna believe. But I'm telling you the honest truth. Once you can't make no money off my class, I'm not going to be talking about this class no more. But as long as I'm talking about it, you can still eat. I have a cutoff point when I know, all right, it's time to shut it down. We ain't there yet. We ain't halfway there yet. You can still eat off everything I've been teaching. And I'm just telling you, Nexo ain't done. Nexo trying to find this spot. It don't even know. I, I keep telling y'all, man, like, the only thing you can compare Nexo to is this. Where this coin at? Um, where is it at? Celsius. Celsius is the only coin really that you can compare Nexo to. This is the comparison. It's Celsius. Celsius was up to seven dollars. It's consolidated now. But this is who you can compare Nexo to. Nexo and Celsius do the identical same thing. It's just that Celsius was a little bit earlier than Nexo. But to me, Nexo got a whole, their, their, their um, advertisement is a whole lot better than Celsius. And you can look, Celsius was pumping. I talked about it. Celsius had got to a point where I was about to buy some, but I'm like, I can't fumble more in, keep it a buck. But Celsius, let me see, where did we get? Look at Celsius all-time high. And look, it's all-time high was made in this bull run. Celsius got up to, well, that's that six dollars and fifty cent. And if you be real about it, you go back down here. Celsius was around thirty six cent. This is September, right? Even if you take it into October, November, Celsius a dollar twenty dollar thirty cent. But you can see the rise of Celsius. You can see when it started taking off. And look at this price. 25 27 cent. Look at this, man. Yo, look at this. Y'all better get on board. What's holding y'all back? This is August 41 cent. We we at least go here to all to here. September the 8th, Celsius was 39 cent. I was a fool because I should have jumped in. But I was stuck on next so. Actually, I, I hadn't even learned about Nexo around this time. I was doing something else. What was that mess I was doing? It was it was another own um, coin I was on at that point. But I messed up because I should have jumped, I should have jumped all in. I, but I didn't know. But I jumped in on Nexo. But so basically what I'm telling y'all, this is who you can compare Nexo to. So Celsius got six dollars and fifty cent. Nexo and Celsius were hand in hand. They do the same thing, family. So if even if Nexo just get half. Let's say it just get half, okay? Shit, it don't get to 650. Let's say it get to 325. Okay, 325 is good. Even if you get in at 75 cents. Even if you get in these shits at a dollar. 
And if it get over three dollars, you looking good, y'all. But let me keep going, right? Cause I ain't, this ain't a Nexo show. This this ain't. Let me clear it out. This ain't about Nexo today. Nexo ain't the gym today, y'all. It's looking good though. But we gonna talk about some of these big. Let we get to this biggest mover. Listen, family, y'all like the information? Thumb up the video. Hit that like button. Hey, you want to pay that ninety nine dollars and subscribe, right? So let me go to these biggest movers right fast. Cause it's one coin I want to talk about today. It's a gaming coin. Where's she at? Let's see. There it go. 50.19% today. It's up 50.19%. Seven days is up $113.37. What is this? This is the engine coin. What is now my students? If you're in the class, I sent y'all the own. Um, Video out today, earlier today, and I told y'all about it. But I told y'all about this coin. I pulled the receipts back in December. If you was in my class in December, I told you about engine coin. I told y'all, get it. Well, what when said, well, what is engine coin? It was up 36 cents. It was up to 38 cents. But well, 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 what is it, right? Well, I'm gonna let y'all see what it is today. Now, this is a hidden gem. Now, the engine coin is a gaming coin, right? It's a gaming coin, but it also, this is the coin that you use for this network, right? But with this, people are building games up here, right? I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna let you see one game, Nine Live Arena. Yeah, we're gonna look at this one. We're gonna look at this one right now. Now you can play this, come here and sign up and play. Now, I told y'all about Funfair, all right? <laughs> you know, I should be keeping some of this stuff, right? But it's all good. I love my people, man. I love people, right? I love information also. Nine Lives Arena, right? Now, we can come up in here and play this game right now. Now, Funfair was a game where it's dealing with um, slots, poker, and you know, and stuff like that. Poker slots and, and, and um, card games. Well, engine is a little bit different. This is a fighting game. And we're going to play this. We're going to play this. Check it out, y'all. Right now. Hey, I'm ready to play this thing right now. I'm ready to play it right now. Get out of here. I'm ready to play it. I'm ready to but listen, y'all come here. You can join the early access. You find out about it. Send your email, right? It's arena. So you can play head up with people, right? But it's it's setting up with classes, the whole nine yards family, right? Now, listen. This right here, now we know the gaming is a big industry and DeFi has been trying to find a way to get into this, right? So this is EngineCoin, y'all. All right, so you got a little insight into it, right? Um, 
And the price of this is pumping, right? So, but what's also crazy about it, because listen, this is a one versus one, so you can play against other people, right? And fight. But what's interesting about this is, right, there's some news that just came out today, around four or something this morning about, hey, where's that article at? Now, this article came out, it was like four something this morning. Now, Injacorn was already moving the last seven days, right? But this, this article came out 4.57 a.m. And what this article says is this, Engine Coin becomes first gaming cryptocurrency white listed for use in Japan. Now to you, you might, well, this is nothing, but if you know anything about gamers and handheld games and stuff, Japan and China are the king of playing these games. They are notorious for games, especially fighting games, right? So this engine has been given the official nod by the Japan Virtual Currency Exchange Association. This is the first ever game of coin that is going to be traded while well, reading. Engine Coin has jumped over Japan's strict regulatory hurdles to become the first gaming cryptocurrency to be white listed for use in the nation. According to press release shared the coin desk on Tuesday, Engine has been given the official nod by the Japan Virtual Currency Exchange Association, the country's self regulatory body overseeing cryptocurrency exchanges. The token is expected to be listed on Japan's coin check exchange on January the 26th, meaning users will be able to purchase engine with Japanese yen. So on January the 26th, Japanese people can buy this coin using their yen on coin check. Family, if you do not believe that the price of this is going to go up, when they can start buying it, don't get none. Just don't get none. But if you got an idea and you believe that maybe the price is going to go up because they're going to start buying it and playing it and actually using it, hey, get you a little bit, right? You know, teachers, oh, this is not financial advice. This is just me telling you my thoughts on what I see. Right, and I'm documenting my journey, and y'all are documenting with me, right? So let's say engine is the store of value that gets locked into non-fungible tokens, NFTs, when created by users within the engine gaming and app ecosystem. Those NFTs can be traded, swapped, and integrated cross-platform with the potential to critique, create entirely new in-app economies, according to the company. From Super Mario, Pokemon, and Final Fantasy, Japan is home to pioneering games that holds a lasting place in pop culture. Yes, enough said. They love games over there. Tekken, um, Street Fighter. Um, if you're a gamer and you grew up, you know what I'm talking about as far as playing games. And they play games in China and Japan, family. Right, so with that being said, I just wanted y'all to see this. It's going to be listed on their exchange on January the 26th. We have a five-day head start. <laughs> um, it's up to you if you believe or not. But you can just sit back and say, because most likely, they already are able to purchase it on other exchanges, but it's just the main exchange is going to be selling it. Now, I will tell you all this. I tried to transfer some... I tried to transfer some... Engine coin from Bitrex to one of my wallets today, and it uh, it charged it was going to charge me over a hundred dollars to make that exchange. It, it was going to charge me over a hundred dollars to exchange my engine coin from Bitrex to this exchange I was trying to send it to. What that tell me is they don't even charge them type of fees for Ethereum. That's telling me something. So I got to let it sit there where it's at. But I, that's telling me something, man. If you charge me over $100 to transfer something, 
What's up in the What's up in the works for it, family? What is up? That must mean they may have a limited supply or something that they don't want to leave their exchange because they charge you so much. What is really up in store? Hey, pay attention, family, because guess what? Engine coin. Say it to the clock ticking, tick, tick it like tick tock, tock, boom. So we about to let it off. Tick tock, got you looking at your wrist. Watch, don't hit hop, hop, cause we about to moonshot. Hey, y'all, Andrew Corn is about the moonshot family, right? So, um, that's Andrew Corn family. Um, and XLM always is a winner. Winner chicken dinner. You always want to make sure you get you some XLM family. XLM and ADA will be the crypto of the future. Right now on um, the DeFi with polka dot and on um, polka dot and chain link and A, they having their run. They are, they having their runs and they are new coins. But these OGs of ADA. Stella, XRP too. Don't sleep on XRP. XRP, ADA, Stella, these OGs, they OGs for a reason. They gonna have their day and they gonna have their say, right? Um, And we gonna ride that ride, family, right? So um, with that being said, family, I appreciate y'all for watching this episode of Max Crypto News. Um, if you leave a comment, I will respond to your comment. Um, matter of fact, before we go, let's look at um, let's look at engine against BTC. Where you at? There we go. Look at it, whooping BTC butt. Look at this, smacking BTC all up, smacking it all up. Let's see how this thing got up to today. They got, yo, smacking, and it's rising again. You see that candle? Turning green. And smacking BTC up. Smacking it up, right? This, this is how you know we're moving into alt season. And this is how you know that alt season is here because they start beating up on BTC, right? Um. Oh, yeah, hold up. Ned, where's Ned Blue at? What my Put my nail back. Let me see some, y'all. Um, oh no! Listen. Oh, it's consolidated. Uh oh. Oh, let me look. Look, might be time to get in, y'all. Might be time to get in. Listen, it might. It's consolidating. Nail blow. It got up to a hundred. It got up to a dollar fifty-two cent, y'all. Right, is that 86 cent? Oh, I, I forgot about Neb. Damn, I forgot about Neb, love. Listen, family, another another sleeper right here. If you're still on the live stream, you call the sleeper. Everybody who left, they ain't catching this sleeper. Listen, y'all, this is a sleeper. Neb Blue is a sleeper and it pumps, y'all. And it pumps and it'll pump. Listen, it's a sleeper. So let me let me show y'all something. So whoever stay, y'all catching this gym. Let me go five years. Show y'all something, man. All right. So listen, you see, you see, you see this? That's two dollars and ninety-three cents, right? But listen, let's 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 go to the all-time high, y'all. Let me show y'all something, man. Now, listen, <laughs> do you see this? This thing got up to $677. Do y'all see this? It got up to $677. I don't know who pumped this, but they pumped the hell out of it. They, they pumped it. And I don't know, I don't know who pumped this thing, but $680. Do y'all see that? This is a sleeper, y'all. Do you hear me? So if you stay here, 
you caught this gym. Everybody else who left early, this is what they get for leaving the live stream early. This is what they get for leaving early. But for everybody who stayed, you better get you some nebula. You hear me? This thing went up to six. Look at this. I don't know who in the hell pumped it like this. This was a pump for. But it, what that shows is the possibility of it. So right now, it's consolidating. All right. So it's consolidating right now. Let me get out of here. Let me get back to the um. Listen, y'all, get you some nebula. Get you some family. Um, my my um when a person told me about nebula, um, it was nowhere near up like this. It was it was around here, 30 some cent. He told me, he was like, yo. He was like, man, look, look into it. He told me to look into it. He was like, when it pumps, it pumps. So listen, it's taking this move, right? And it's consolidating. Um, entry point. Um, I would say a good entry point would be forty-five cent, but I don't think it's going to go that low no more. Um, I don't think it's going to go that low no more. Um, I really don't. I'm not going to FOMO in, but I'm about to get me some. It's like, yo, I can't. I can't do it no more. Um, I don't care. I'm going I gotta at least put a hundred into it. And see. Now I'm gonna be watching this chart to see when it bottoms out. Because right now, right now, it's it's this is a um a, um bullish cross. So but it's starting to move sideways, man. It dipped, but it is making a lower low. That's the good thing, right? So it made a lower low, it came back up. It did make a non low, it went back up, but then, see now we got lower low. So now I'm looking at, I'm looking at here and I hate to put a, I hate to do it like this, but dang, I hate to do it like that, man. But um, that's that's something I'm looking at. Let me see. All right, so let me see. If you stay late, you get to see this. Everybody who left, they ain't getting it. So sometimes it behooves you to watch to the end. All right, so you see the trend that is in. Triangle, you can call it a flag. I don't call it, I call it a triangle, right? But so this is the trend line going down. Now, I usually draw these trend lines going up, but I'm looking for a buy-in. I'm looking for a good spot to get in. That's what I'm looking at. That's what this is for. This is for me to get in, a good buy-in spot, right? So 79 cent looks like a good spot, but you got to watch this. Now, the next time I look at this chart, if it goes above this, it seems like it may have broken this trend, right? But if it comes below it, that's what I'm looking at. And, you know, that's a good spot. I think 79 cent might be a good buy-in, man. I don't know how much further it's gonna go. I can, it's some support here. That would be the perfect one. 70 cent. What what chart is this? I mean, where's the um, moving average? Hold on, let me see some. Let me hold up. Let me go to the 30 minute. This is 
Oh, oh, he ain't got, he ain't got my moving errors up here. Yeah. We'll see though. I'm gonna watch it more closely. But um 79 cent or 70 cent. 70 cent would be a perfect buy. If I can get in at 70 cent. Um or like, but it, it, re it really got to consolidate to get down here. Something got to happen for it to get this low. Something has to happen. Um, or this was the last bottom. Yeah, this way, it, it got some good, it got some support here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, I would say here or here, it's a lot of support. It's some support here too. Um, yeah, y'all. Um, damn, I slept on there. Ah, yeah. That's why I tell y'all, man. It's so many. It's so many. It's so much crypto out here, man. It's so much that you can't get them all, but yeah, if I can get this, if it get down, because it, it pumps, it pumps hard and it consolidates. But the thing is, this time is you need to see we're looking for lower lows. Um, what's this? I went to the 30 minutes. Yeah, we're looking for lower lows. Yeah, it gotta come back down. I can't buy it at this price. It gotta come down. Um, but I will look, I'm gonna be looking at this, y'all. Watch Neblo, yo. If it get to Yeah, if it if it breaks below this trend line and come touch this, touch this, I'll be happy. Um, this is just to get in, though. But we're in this bull run, man. I don't know, family. Damn, I don't know. But, yeah, this, these are my entry points. Um, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. If it get to 50, I'd love to get in at 54 cents. I don't think it's going to get that low. 70 and 79 cents. If we get under 79 cent, I'm gonna test. If we get anywhere between 79 and 70 cent, I'm jumping in. Um, oh yeah, yeah, all right, family. Um, thanks for watching, man. I appreciate y'all. Hey, whoever stayed to the end, man, y'all call the gym. Y'all, y'all, y'all better look at Neb Blue, yo. And if we get to these target lines, you wanna you wanna buy you some, man. Um, with that being said, peace. I'll catch y'all on the next video. We out. Why well, do?